This video is to show you how to show your work and solve substitution problems. So how substitution problems work is they're going to give you an algebraic expression. That's this part right here. That's an algebraic expression. Then with questions that ask you to substitute in values in for variables, we call those substitution problems. They're going to tell you what x equals and they're going to tell you what y equals. All you need to do is plug in those values in for the variables and then solve. Now we're really picky about how you show your work. It should be neat, it should be organized. That way you reduce the number of mistakes that you make. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to plug in what x equals. Now I think it's a good habit to plug in x and to use 4 and to put it in parentheses. You'll find that to be really helpful if there's negative numbers involved or multiplication is involved. So go ahead and get in the habit of doing that now. Then y is going to be 1 half. And then I need to square that. So the first thing that's asking me to do is to go ahead and solve inside the parentheses. So it is at 4 plus 1 half is 4 and 1 half. And then all I need to do is square that. Well, to square that, that means I need to multiply it by itself. So now I have to remember, how do you multiply a mixed number? Well, I know that to multiply a mixed number, I need to do 9 over 2 times 9 over 2. Then I get 81 over 4. Now, in 6th grade math, we go ahead and we simplify our answer into mixed numbers. So, from... 9 over 2 times 9 over 2, which is 4 and a half squared is what that was, I got 81 over 4. To make it back into a mixed number, off to the side, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide. Top dog goes in the house. I divide it by 4. I get 2 first off. Oh, 4 doesn't go into 1, so that's 0. And a remainder 1. So that's going to be 20 and one-fourth as our answer. Okay, now let's look at the second one and how that problem changes when the parentheses are not there. So, I'm going to have x squared. So remember, the first thing that I do is I plug in the value of x. There, it gives me the value of x. Then I'm going to plug in the value of y. One-half squared. I know that four squared is 16. Hmm. I can't remember what one half squared is. When you do these problems, it's really important to keep your work really nice and organized. What that means is that I'm going to do all of my sort of order of operation, nacho chip, substitution work right here. If I do any kind of extra computation, do it off to the side, over here. That way it's out of the way and you don't get yourself confused. Oh, that's right, one fourth. Now I have 16 plus one fourth which is 16 and 1 fourth. So when you substitute, all you need to do is plug in the values for your variables and they're going to give you those values. You plug them in and definitely use parentheses. Then solve using order of operations showing all of your steps. 